Mark from Vortec Pro. This is video number 24 in our 620 horse 467 engine build. Today we're going to talk about the exhaust port and how it was ported in the combustion chamber and how it was ported. But before we get into that, I want to explain why the exhaust is important on an engine like this. It's really important. What we have here is a graph of the 496 that I ran in, our, in my 496 drag test. On this side is the horsepower, on this side is RPM. Okay, I'm going to use the term power carry because that's what's important here. Where we came up short on our drag test, when we did this test we knew that we were, we were on the edge because we had a lot of gear in the car. We knew that our 496 peaked at around 6,300 RPM, as you can see here, okay? Which is fine for a 496 with a 238 at 50 hydraulic roller. Now, if you look at this graph, this blue line is the engine that we had in the car. It carried pretty nice to about 6,500. It's only down a few horsepower. But after 6,500, it fell like a rock which again you can only expect with a motor that big with a hydraulic roller with oval port heads. But this was where we were deficient. As you can see how the power dropped off after 6500. Now the problem is when we were running the car on the launch immediately before the first second gear shift could even be pulled I was at 6700 RPM. So we were quite a bit past the power curve. Okay again the last few hundred feet of the track, the thing was over 6,700 RPM again because it went through around 6,900. So where we messed up is we should have geared the car down and put a 410 gear in it because we did not have the power carry. This is ideally what I'd like to see and that's where the exhaust port comes into on these motors. The better the exhaust is, the more it carries the power. We're going to start by talking about the combustion chamber first. This cutaway head, although it's an 049 head, you can see the shape of the factory combustion chamber. Now, right here in this area is where some aftermarket pistons have a clearance issue. So you can see on our 781 head where we've modified the chamber and ground on it and lay, laid the chamber back which helps the flow and obviously gives you more piston clearance. When you look at this combustion chamber you can see that we've laid it back starting here coming all the way around here and then in this area we've taken some ridges out that were there after machining. Same as here. We just tried to smooth it out so there would really be no hot spots. Now we're going to take a look at the porting on the exhaust ports. As you can see, this bowl has not been ground on yet. And this dimension from right here to here is 1 inch 440 thousandths. The exhaust bowl that we've modified is measuring 1 inch 510. So, so we took about 70 thousandths of material out from here to here. Now we're going to flip the head over and show you the short turn. Here's a view of the unported short turn, although it is machined for an inch 880 valve. As you can see, it leaves a pretty good lip right around the diameter of the throat. Now, let's move over here to the ported short turn. As you can see, we've taken this short turn and we've laid it back and we've blended it in. As you can see the shape here and here. This hump has been left in here to some extent but laid back as well. And if you look closely, you can see how it's 
the floor of the short turn is parallel with this area of the head. And it's been widened to some extent. Okay, from this view, you can look down the runner and you can see what we've blended compared to the runner that hasn't been worked on. Okay, here's another view of the short turn. It's, this is so important, we're going to try to get it from as many angles as possible so you can see the shape. After we get done, we'll go back there and flow test ahead and come back with the final numbers. Okay, we finished our flow test, and this is stock with the H720 exhaust valve. We ended up with a gain of 37 CFM at 200 lift, and a gain of 40.9 CFM at 300, and a gain of 44 CFM at, three, at 400. At 500, we gained 46.4 CFM at 600 we gained 50.8 CFM. At 700, we gained 63.7. It's also important to note at 800 lift, this had flowed over 260 CFM. As you can see, this ported exhaust on the 781 head responds real well to porting after the inch 80 valve is installed. It makes for some nice gains. We want to show you the exhaust cutaway on this 049 head so you can just see how much material you're actually working with and I mean this is the side view of our bowl on the exhaust this would be the short turn this is the back bowl let's look at this one see this this amount of material right from here to here is going to be critical when you're porting especially in and in, in right here because it can get thin right there. Thanks for watching our videos and stay tuned for our Buick 455 drag test.